Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Intel Compute Stick. This is an extremely portable PC with Windows 8.1 that functions like a regular computer and you can even game stream with it using your desktop system. I'd say that this is great for anyone who needs just enough computing power for research, streaming movies, and playing some games. It's affordable too and pocket sized. Here's a look at the accessories. You get an HDMI extension cable for flexibility because maybe you need more cable or you can't seem to plug in the compute stick vertically so you need some cable bend. Here's the power adapter with USB cable that powers this device. I like that you get a bunch of different adapters, great for when you're traveling, and just snap on the correct one and you're good to go. As for dimensions, it measures 103 millimeters or 4.06 inches by 37 millimeters or 1.46 inches by 12 millimeters or 0.47 inch. It's encased in plastic and has a glossy finish to it. I would like to see a metal casing in the future, just like a desktop PC. Let's take a closer look at the compute stick. On this edge is the power button and some ventilation next to that. Here's the micro USB port for powering this device. This USB 2.0 port will come in handy if you don't have a bunch of Bluetooth peripherals, and I wish there was a second USB port, just in case. I just want to plug in a Met keyboard and gaming mouse. I guess I could use a hub too, like this J5 Create USB 3.0 hub. Intel was nice enough to provide one. Thank you! If you don't have a hub lying around, you could opt for the Logitech K400 as it's a keyboard and trackpad combo device. There's even a security notch located here. Ooh, there's a micro SD card slot for expanding your storage too. And here's some more vent holes. This is the HDMI connector that you will need to plug into any display with an HDMI port. Just plug and play essentially doesn't get any easier than this. On the face of the compute stick, you get more ventilation as well as a power LED that will light up blue when powered on. And here's a look at the other side of the security notch. Kind of reminds me of the old school cell phone ones. And you can probably connect it to a lanyard to take it with you on the go. Now for a look at the specs. The Compute Stick utilizes a 1.3 GHz quad-core Intel Atom Z3735F processor with Intel HD graphics, and it has 2 gigs of memory as well as 32 gigs of storage. You get support for Wi-Fi 802.11b GNN, and there's Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity, so you can even pair with devices via Bluetooth like a wireless headset, keyboard, or mouse. I need that mouse because I dislike using a trackpad. Highly dislike. It comes with Windows 8.132 bit with Bing, out of the box, and it looks like there's even McAfee Antivirus Plus subscription included. There's also a Compute Stick version for Linux. Yay for Linux users! I think the Compute Stick is pretty handy for plugging into TVs not inside my room, and I have a very old 70 inch outside, the kind with the big backside, and it's 1080i, sadly. So, I just use it to watch movies and there's no need to power up a laptop or desktop system just to use that TV for media. The Compute Stick displays 1080p video streams pretty smoothly, and I got my DC fix in recently, like the Flashpoint Paradox, Doom, War, and the like. Let's log into Steam to try out some games. I'd say this little system is definitely good for light games, but nothing heavy like graphically intense shooters such as Titanfall or the BF series. Your Wi-Fi connection may not be the most stable if only the Compute Stick had an Ethernet port. With Steam in-home streaming, you can play games through your home network from your desktop PC as well. When you log into Steam on both PCs, they should automatically connect. I tried playing some Tomb Raider and when the connection was smooth, the video quality looked flawless, but not so much when the Wi-Fi had issues. That wraps it up for this look at the Intel Compute Stick, and if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook fan page, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Don't forget to hit the donate button to help expand this channel and feed this techie. Be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle for everyday gadgets, and JTL Cuteness Overload for an injection of cuteness into your day. Last but not least is storeenvy.com where you can go ahead and check out my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph prints that you can buy. I guess all that's left to say is mwah!